Welcome grade 10 math. <coughs> Today we're going to be looking at applications of quadratics. Okay, so what we're going to be able to do by the end of this lesson is be able to apply the vertex form and factored form equations of a parabola. So quickly, let's first review what the vertex and factored form of a parabola are. The vertex form is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. What's important from this equation is that we can tell the vertex of a parabola just by looking at the h and the k values. The vertex of a parabola is h, k. Factored form is y equals a times x minus r times x minus s. Okay. What's important from this equation is that we can determine what the x-intercepts of a parabola are just by looking at the r and the s values. Okay, So vertex form is useful for seeing the vertex. The vertex is hk. Factor form is useful for finding the x-intercepts. The x-intercepts are r and s. Okay, let's go ahead and do some applications of um, quadratics. Number one. The predictive flight path of a toy rocket is defined by the relation h equals negative 2 d times d minus 3 times d minus 15. Okay? You notice in this question we don't have y equals and then x values here. Instead we have h and d. The question will tell us what this h and d stand for. Okay? So the d is the horizontal distance. Okay? So in where you would normally see x in the equation, so normally we see x here, in this equation, we see a d. Okay, the d stands for the horizontal distance. So that means our x-axis. Okay, so this axis here, our x-axis, is our horizontal distance. Okay, so that's our horizontal distance. We we'll keep reading the question. Um, okay, so D is the horizontal distance in meters from a safety wall, and H is the height in meters above the ground. So normally where we would see Y, so normally we see Y right here, this time we see an H. So our Y axis is now our height. It tells us H is the height. Let's see if I can write this sideways. Good. So our Y axis is our height. That's going to be a common trend for all of these application questions. Y-axis, the vertical axis, is the height off the ground. So logically, that makes sense. And X-axis, the horizontal axis, represents our horizontal distance. That also makes sense. Okay. And in this question, instead of seeing a Y value, we see an H, just so we know that that stands for the height. And instead of seeing an X value, we see a D, just so we know that that stands for the horizontal distance. Okay. Good. So, first step, sketch the graph. This, this equation is in factored form. In order to sketch the graph of an equation in factored form, we must first state the x-intercepts. So the x-intercepts of this question are our r and s values, so it is 3 and 15. Okay, so our x-intercepts are x equals 3 and x equals 15. Those are our R and S values. Now that we have those R and S values, we can use those to determine our axis of symmetry. Okay? In order to graph the equation uh, and sketch the graph of an equation that's in factored form, we need the x-intercepts, which we have, and we also need the vertex. Okay? In order to determine the vertex, we first need the axis of symmetry, then we can use that to help us find the vertex. So the axis of symmetry, if we remember, is r plus s divided by 2. Our r and s values are 3 and 15. So it is 3 plus 15 divided by 2, which is 18 divided by 2, which is 9. Okay? So our axis of symmetry is x equals 9. Now that we have that axis of symmetry, 
we just have to remember that the axis of symmetry is the x-coordinate of the vertex. Okay, So <clears throat> this axis of symmetry, x equals 9, is the x-coordinate of the vertex. So our vertex is 9 something. Okay, Let's go back and look at our graph just to consolidate that. Okay, So on our graph, we can plot these x-intercepts. So just roughly, um, there's our x-intercept at 3, 0. And here's another one at 50 and 0. We know that the axis of symmetry is in the middle of these x-intercepts. That's why we added them and divided by 2 to find the middle. So we know the axis of symmetry goes through um, 9 on the x-axis. Okay, So we know our vertex is on this line here. So it's, it, I'll draw that line, actually. It's on this axis of symmetry. Okay? Here's the axis of symmetry, vertical line through the middle of the parabola. We know that our vertex is on this line somewhere. It could be any of these spots. Okay, We know the x-coordinate is 9, but we don't know the y-coordinate. So if we plug 9 into the equation of our parabola. The equation of our parabola is right here. If we plug 9 in for d, d because d is our x in this case, if we plug 9 in for d, we can then solve for our height. Our height is our y in this case. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. So our equation is h equals negative 2, d minus 3, d minus 15. So I've given us that our x-coordinate is 9. Okay, so The x-coordinate of our vertex is 9. So if I plug that in, for, in this case it's d, but that's, that represents the x-coordinate. Okay, If I plug that in, it'll tell me what my y-coordinate is. And my y-coordinate of this um, question is the height. Because you know the y-axis the y is height, the x-axis is the horizontal distance. Okay. So plug in 9 for my x, or in this case d, and it'll tell me the y core in the vertex. 9 minus 3, 9 minus 15. Go ahead and solve that. Negative 2 times 6 times negative 6. If you multiply all those numbers together, you get h equals 32. Okay, <clears throat> so our vertex is 9, 32. Okay, remembering that our x coordinate represents our horizontal distance. Oh boy, let me actually just type that so we can actually read it. Okay, so this is our horizontal distance. So that's our horizontal distance right there. And then the y coordinate represents our height. Okay, there we go. So in this case, the x represents the horizontal distance, and the y represents the height. Okay? It's important that we understand what the coordinates represent when we're doing these types of questions. So we can go ahead and plot that point. So our vertex is at 9, 32, we determined. So we can plot that point. It's at 9, 32. So you know, roughly about here. Just make sure we label it so I know that you found the right vertex. 9.32. There we go. Connect these with a nice smooth curve. Much better than that. But anyways, roughly that's what your parabola should look like. The main part that I want to be able to see here is that you have the right x-intercepts and you have the right vertex. Okay. Now the next part of this question is going to ask us to interpret these, these values here, our x-intercepts and our vertex. So part B, how far from the wall is the rocket when it lands on the ground? So we're going to assume that the y-axis 
is our safety wall, okay? Because we know it tells us it takes off from three meters to the right of the safety wall, okay? So, you know, we've got some people standing behind here. Let's see if I can draw some people. We've got some people standing behind this safety wall. There we go. He's standing beside, behind that safety wall so he doesn't get hit by this rocket that's flying through the air, okay? He's got his little... Um, I don't even know what you call this, that little thing. You push the lever and then something explodes. Anyways, he pushes that lever from behind the, the safety wall and then this rocket takes off from three meters to the right. It goes up, 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 reaches its maximum and then comes all the way back down and it lands 15 meters to the right of the safety wall, okay? So the question asks, how far from the wall's rocket when it lands on the ground is 15 meters, okay? Next part of the question, what is the maximum height of the rocket and how far horizontally is it from the wall at that moment? So when it says what is the maximum height, that's pretty much asking what is the vertex, okay? So what is the y coordinate of the vertex, okay? So when you see the word maximum, you know it's dealing, having something to do with the vertex because by definition the vertex, if the parabola opens down, is the maximum point, okay? So it wants to know what the maximum height is. We know that the y coordinate of our vertex stands for the height, okay? So that is the maximum height of the, of the, ro of the toy rocket. It's 32 meters. And then it also asks us at what horizontal distance does this occur? So where on the x-axis does this vertex occur? It occurs at 9 on the x-axis, okay? Remember this point stands for our horizontal distance. I won't tr even, I'll write a short form. This is our h d. Okay, so the x is our horizontal distance. So what is the maximum height of the rocket? Max height. Is 32 meters. Um, when the rocket is how far? Nine meters from the safety wall. Okay, so when you see the question says something about maximum height, you know it wants you to look at the values of the vertex, okay? And height is always the y coordinate of the vertex. So the maximum height is the y coordinate of the vertex, which is 32 meters, okay? And it occurs at a horizontal distance of nine meters. Good.